Despite their very poor monochromatic vision, cleaner shrimp maintain cleaning stations, identify fish that want to be cleaned, and even clean fish that would normally eat crustaceans the size of the shrimp. So how does it work? How do fish identify that that shrimp is a cleaner shrimp rather than a meal? Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Man, and this week we'll be answering those questions and more. We'll be talking about a paper titled Mutual Visual Signaling Between the Cleaner Shrimp and Cyclomenes pterosoni and its client fish. Sorry for the Latin. That paper was published by the Royal Society Publishing back in 2018. There's also a second paper that we'll be using in this video, and that one is specifically about the differences in cleaner shrimp behavior when they're dealing with a predatory versus a non-predatory fish. And both of those, of course, are linked down below in the description. So if you want to check them out, that's where the link is. Also, thanks for the authors providing the awesome videos that are going to be showing throughout this video. In nature, for signals to arise and work, well, they need to be consistent over time and they need to result in a boost for both the signaler and the receiver. In cleaner shrimp, which maintain those cleaning stations on coral reefs all around the world, both the shrimp and the fish benefit. The shrimp receives a meal made of ectoparasites and dead tissue and things like that, and the fish is freed from all those maladies. The shrimp should also signal to advertise that they're cleaners, not food. And that signaling will probably, well, it should be most intense when the client fish is a fish that might otherwise eat the shrimp. And we do see that in Lismata ambulensis, one of the most commonly kept cleaner shrimp, the skunk cleaner shrimp, which rocks its front legs from side to side. And that's done way more often when the fish right in front of the shrimp is a predator versus when it is something that wouldn't eat the shrimp. The Peterson shrimp, which is the species you see in the videos throughout this video, it doesn't use its legs. Instead, it whips its bright white antenna around to signal its cleaning services to clients. But what's really going on there? That's what the authors of this paper were trying to find out. It could be that they're moving their antenna around in order to just smell the water, check out what's around them, instead of to advertise their services, or maybe something else. Shrimp also have very poor eyesight. They actually only see in one color, it's kind of a greenish color, and they have very poor resolution. You can see how bad their eyesight actually is, hardly being able to even make out a fish that's right in front of them. To help with this, fish looking for cleaning services often change color while hovering motionless near the shrimp's cleaning station. By turning to a darker color, the fish stand out better for the shrimp to be able to see them. This was also something that the authors wanted to investigate, as this was just a hypothesis that had yet to be proven at that point. So they set up GoPro cameras, one looking down and one looking from the side towards the cleaning stations, and they recorded over 100 hours of footage. From that footage, they noted the interactions and behaviors that took place in those cleaning stations. They found that those behaviors broke down into just a few different types. Posing, where the client fish is just motionless waiting for cleaning. Color changes, both darker and lighter. Jolting, probably when a cleaner is just a bit too aggressive. And antenna whipping which we talked about before, and obviously, of course, cleaning. By mapping all of the interactions that they saw in the videos, the team was able to develop a network diagram of those interactions and how often they play out in a certain order. Most commonly, the shrimp whips its antenna and then the fish poses, and then either cleaning begins, or if not, the fish would turn to a darker color, leading to cleaning. Antenna whipping at the beginning predicted cleaning behavior 82% of the time. To find out if any scent was involved, they used an iPad placed up against the aquarium, just displaying various images and videos. There could be no scent involved here. The iPad, it's inanimate and it's not even in the tank. And yet the shrimp displayed antenna whips and even touched the tank's walls where the images were on the iPad. So from that, we're pretty confident that the antenna motion is not related to just trying to get a good olfactory smell of the area. An overall darkening of the client fish does seem to desire or indicate a desire to be cleaned. When posing alone isn't enough, changing to a darker coloration resulted in cleaning 47% of the time, nearly triple their overall original chances. Because it doesn't happen after the shrimp is already being cleaned, we can be confident that this is actually a signal from the fish to the shrimp asking for those cleaning services. It might help the shrimp see the fish, Making, maybe making them stand out a bit more against the background of the reef. Antenna whipping is a reliable signal from the shrimp that they're open for business. 
On the other species of shrimp, the skunk cleaner shrimp, rocking their front legs back and forth perform this function. And you'll actually see that in your own tank when you're cleaning near the shrimp if you've got one of those in your tank. Antenna whipping was often followed by the client fish posing motionless, followed by a color change if the shrimp didn't notice it right away and begin the cleaning. Cleaner shrimp are a really interesting aquarium inhabitant, and they will actually happily go about their services when you're working in your tank, picking away at your hand as you work on whatever it is you're doing. They're actually often available as captive red specimens as well, and I'd encourage you to try one in your tank if you have this space. They do pretty well in all but the absolute smallest of reef tanks, but they do only live about two or three years. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any cleaner shrimp in your tank, take a moment to examine their behavior. Are they signaling at you? Maybe signaling at your other fish? It's really interesting to just know a little bit of their language now. If you liked the video, take a moment to hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, consider subscribing. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day. Bye.